Well this is interesting what you're looking at right now is the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Please subscribe followed by the fans. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. Do we have seen some renders based on the sketches and some screen sizes and all that information, but this is what we call our first proper Galaxy Fold to design gleams as expected, the poncho design is indeed here for the Galaxy Fold, due to a very random poncho position. Indeed, from the first look at this app say it looks miles better than the Galaxy Fold 1. There is no side for head so you get a much cleaner experience going to Ice Universe. There is a big reason for putting this hole on this random position you can say according to this layout. We have the camera of the outer display on the left hand side. And with the right hand side we have the back camera so realistically, it makes sense for Samsung to put the whole bunch where it is right now, without really making things complicated or having the overlapping problem with other cameras now. The whole point itself is not as small as the one in the Galaxy Note banner on the Galaxy Samsung going to. I said whereas the actual bezels are around 3.8mm, which makes them even smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which sounds absolutely crazy for a follow phone all in all, Abhis at the 4 do look superior, and everywhere in every form already for the one that there is another foldable smartphone leak, that could be the Galaxy for light model, is based on one of Samsung's latest bit, and showing off the old cameras and smaller outer screen. According to Ross Young Samsung has several Galaxy phone models from last year, so Samsung could be reselling them and rebranding them with a bit of design change with older specs, but at a much affordable price, and call them Galaxy Fold line, but that is just pure speculation. The folder is the one that is coming really really soon alongside the Galaxy Note 20 on August 5th. Let me know the Galaxy to think about the design, also the news Ice Universe confirmed that the 100 Exume is dead. We mentioned that before it's gone. It's forever gone. Okay maybe it might come back in the future, but for now, is dead Samsung will put all of this effort into it. 13 megapixel 50 Exumarf definitely Samsung is making the right decision. We also had the case the showing out the cutouts for the cameras of the Note 20 and the 20 Plus, further confirming the design. If you pay attention to the cutout for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, it does seem to be really really big like the Galaxy it's really ultra, so Samsung could definitely call this phone as Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Also we have some interesting news regarding Samsung's upcoming strategy for releasing their smartphones and Galaxy Fold devices, as agreed on several dot com sensing might be releasing their new devices with a month of difference, which means that in the month of August. We can see the Galaxy Note 20 and in the month of September. We could see the release of the 4 do Samsung wants to create a bit of a difference in between, and one of the reasons to do that is because they want to compete with Apple, don't I release everything at one point they want to spread things across the month of August, could be for the Galaxy Note 20 the month of September. It could be 40 Galaxy 4 do, and then the month of October could be for the Galaxy S20 fan. In addition, the Yesterday Foundation is going to be like a Galaxy S20 to back a flat display with snapping a 65 chipset and a possible 120Hz display all in all things are looking exciting. A lot of stuff is coming and planned for the second half of 2020. Regarding the design of the Galaxy Fold 2 if you think that the Galaxy Fold do has the best foldable product design out there, then slap her leg but it took a long time for the Samsung Galaxy Fold to hit store shelves, thanks to years of rumors followed by months of delays, but the resulting product felt undeniably first gen. If you're here to find out about Samsung's next foldable phone, you should check out our hands on Samsung Galaxy Z Flip review, which is quite a different beast to the Fold 2. It was launched in February 2020 alongside the Samsung Galaxy S20 range. The Galaxy Z Flip has a different form factor to the Galaxy Fold, and likely the Fold 2, as it's a clamshell device that folds like a flip phone of old or the Motorola Razr 2019, but with a long and flexible screen. Well, the Galaxy Z Flip might be a comparatively affordable foldable, the Samsung Galaxy Fold is for those who want the cutting edge of smartphone technology, no matter what it costs and how unpolished it is. But while we can't recommend the Galaxy Fold to most, it is an exciting look at one possible future of phones, and the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 is sure to fix some of the original's missteps. Below you'll find everything we've heard about it, along with a list of all the main things we want from it, it says that the phone will then be available to buy on August 20th, which would match what Samsung has been able to do in previous years. Having said that, other sources have now said that while it will likely be unveiled in August, it probably won't be available to buy until September. This may be all in flux considering the COVID-19 pandemic, but the current thinking is that August will be the unveiling at least. While well, early Galaxy Fold 2 leaks all turned out to be of the Galaxy Z Flip, a number of newer leaks have also now emerged. The most recent and detailed of these is a leaked render showing the front of the Galaxy Fold 2 with the screen open. It has notable bezels around every edge, and a punch hole camera in an off-center position that looks a little strange. 
however, when folded in half that position would actually be central to one of the screens. It also keeps the front camera hardware out of the way of the rear camera, which the same source suggests is in a rectangular block at the top right of the rear. This design also gives the phone a rather Galaxy S20-like look, as well as being similar to Galaxy Note 20 leaks. It would make sense for Samsung to unify the design of its main with a pinch of salt. We've also seen for example the three possible designs below, one of which is a clamshell design, likely the Z Flip, while the other two are closer to the current model. Another patent meanwhile talks about a folding phone that works with a stylus, which could bring a future fold closer to Samsung's Galaxy Note range. If the foldable phone was to launch alongside the Galaxy Note devices, that would make a lot of sense. Indeed, the claim of a stylus has now been made multiple times, although one source specifically says it won't have one. Since then another source has added to the no S Pen claims, saying that the screen won't be durable enough to use with a stylus. A further patent has also suggested Samsung may be increasing the size of the display on the front of the device too. If Samsung opted for this design, it'd be a long screen along the front of the device, and it even suggests the phone would be potentially water and dust resistant likes the Samsung Galaxy S20. Shipping with a stylus would make sense in order to make the most of the big screen, and the above patent specifically describes a stylus that can even work on the curved part of the screen. Earlier report that Samsung was working on two new foldable phones, one of which ended up being the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. The other is said to have a vertical fold like the original handset, but one that folds outwards, so the main screen is on the outside, and always visible it's just either big or small, depending on whether the phone is folded or phones will have been bought around the world. A saturated market like this makes it tough for manufacturers to stand out. Sometimes they develop also new functionality or board just designed to tempt us into parting with our cash. Sometimes the rush to innovate and differentiate make them go a bit crazy and create something distinctly strange, and that's exactly what's happening with Samsung's next foldable smartphone, the Galaxy Fold to Ice Universe, has posted what seemingly the Galaxy Photo would look like in the regular, and it shows in your camera position for the selfie camera. The original Galaxy Fold had a big notch at the side that Samsung will go with a poncho cutout for the Galaxy Fold 2 earlier we thought it's going to be at the right side corner, but that's not the case Samsung is positioning it at a weird off-center position. I know most of you would be like. But when you think about it. The camera position. Kind of makes sense using smartphones. The front camera cannot go in line with the rear camera because of the complexity of the design. There isn't much room to put the front and rear camera exactly at the same place. One plus 8 Pro iPhone 11 Pro front and rear cameras at different positions, and never in line. Now you might say the original Galaxy Fold had the notch with the front camera exactly in line with the rear camera. Well that's not true. Even though the notch was in line with the rear camera. The front camera wasn't as you can see the camera was off-center too on the Galaxy Fold. In fact, it was in the same position as the one on the Galaxy Fold 2 because of the notch you didn't notice that now you might also say that they can put it at the left corner, but they can't because there are two displays out there at the left. The outer display and the inner one, so there isn't much room to put the selfie camera to let so apparently out of no choices, Samsung had to put the camera in this weird position, without knowing all of this doesn't make it less strange. Absolutely not. This will without a doubt go down as one of the weirdest front camera position smartphones of recent times, also have the first look at another Samsung foldable smartphone number. Recently we talked about a light version of the Galaxy Fold with a smaller outer display. Well here's how it's going to look the displays shape more like a strip than a full-on touchscreen $100, significantly cheaper than the $2000 price tag of the Galaxy. Fold the displays and the only difference this new phone is also set to incorporate a redesigned hands that allows the two sides of the device to fall flat again, just like on the Galaxy as the flap. This was something that wasn't possible on the original device. There will be another slider at the side to silence the phone similar to OnePlus phones and on the back. You will only see a dual lens camera module which is then again to keep the cost down. Anyway, there's no word on whether or not the internal space are going to remain the same as the original Galaxy Fold, which I'll make sure to keep you updated. Please subscribe, like the video.